We'll look at pilchards first. Okay, the humble pilchard, a couple of simple ways we can use these as bait. With your knives, you've got a couple of different knives. One's a filleting knife, nice, nice and soft for filleting. And then we've got a, ge a general bait knife, a little bit firmer, which is what I prefer for doing cut baits. So first we'll look at a, a half pilchard. Have a tail section. The way we put these on is lay the hook like so, and then turn the hook around and come out the pilchard, exposing it, and then a simple half hitch around the tail. Now you can vary your lead on top of that, depending on the amount of water flow or current you may be fishing in. So that's a simple tail section of a pilchard. Okay. So the second one we're going to do is a head section. The head section, I go through the eye cavity first, twice. So take the hook through once, twice, and don't worry about if the eyeball comes out, no drama. Go through twice, turn the pilchard over, tuck the hook just under its gill plate, and bring the point out, like so. Then gently tighten the main line towards its eye cavity. Now the bridge section across its eye cavity is the strongest point, so that'll keep it nice and taut, tight. And there you have it, the head section. Both great baits. And the third one I want to show you is a cube bait. These are fantastic fish down a burley trail. Just nice and easy. Cut your pilly into little cubes. Pick up a cube. I can feel the bone between my finger, each side. Just drop the hook just under the bone. Now the point doesn't need to come out. The pilcher cubes are nice and soft. That fish down the burley trail is just a mouthful for any fish.